Western Pacific. Are there any maritime or marine mobile stations uh, requiring uh, weather advisories for the Eastern Pacific? Over. This is the Maritime Mobile Service Network on 14.300. We're here in Southern California. My name is uh, Frank, and I'm, my call sign is Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. So we're listening to, again, the Maritime Mobile Service Network at around 4.34 p.m. on a Sunday over here in Chino Hills. I'm activating the park. One thing that uh, happens often is that you set up a new antenna and you don't know if it's propagating or how strong the propagation is. Right now, I have my antenna, uh, which is uh, my mobile antenna, but it's set up differently. It's um, The hatchback is open, so I have to adjust the mount. So now it's uh, properly oriented, but I don't know if that's going to work very well and um, or how far, you know, how well it's going to do. Yes, you can have... Uh, SW meter, you can also meter it in your radio, but it would be nice to see if it does work out. So the Maritime Mobile Service Network is the best place to check to see if your signal's right, but you need to listen and you need to know your turn because they are there to uh, serve those that are, um, you know, Maritime Mobiles. If they're in the emergency, uh, they can use this frequency. Now, I was looking at their website, and apparently the Maritime Mobile Service Network has been around since 68, 1968. And uh, they serve those who serve uh, originally in the U.S. Uh, United States military during the Vietnam War. And it says here, since that time, the network has grown considerably in hours of operation and service provided and consists of a dedicated group of, ha of radio amateurs who um, unselfishly volunteer their time, equipment, and efforts to serve and assist those in need and communications from foreign countries the and the high seas. 35 UTC or 35 minutes past the hour. I'm now taking general check-ins. That's me. Let's try. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. See if it reaches. I think he's in New York. Ooh. You're saying he's having some difficulties in the West Coast stations. Okay, a couple of stations right at my noise level, but I did hear Kilo Mike 4, Juliet to Bravo, November, Commander. Mm. No, it's not me. <laughs> then again, he was having some challenges. We'll try again. That's one thing that you um, shouldn't do, give up so easily. This hobby will have some heartbreak moments. And it's great to listen just to what other operators say and, and do. So keep listening. Oh, mobile. Not... Uh, Maritime mobile. And we're, uh, I don't know if I'm considered mobile or not, but I'm using the mobile antenna. Let's try again. I'll be clear with you. This is Kilo 2, Juliet to Bravo X3, and I am taking check in. Over. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Whiskey Alpha 7 Station, stand by, sir. There was another uh, whiskey, maybe Whiskey Charlie, over. Whiskey, Charlie, Zero, Oscar. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a minute. Whiskey, Alpha, Seven. Mmm, uh, signal's pretty weak. Lima, Romeo, come in, sir. Uh, yeah, Roger, you are doing very well. Uh, five, and let's see, what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to okay, pump up my night power night to 100 night. watts. Might make a difference, it was at 90. So it's maximum wattage, and uh, west is that way, so north is that way, right, and east is that way, and the antenna is pointing, it's a little bit bent, but my whole car is pointing towards the east, so we'll see. Let's see if they can hear me. Yeah, Roger, I'll say 73, great signal into Montana. 
The signal here is 58. This is Kilo 2 Juliet Bravo Victory. I'm taking check in over. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. He didn't come back to me. And again, don't be discouraged by it. He's not able to hear me or he doesn't want to, he couldn't hear me and he doesn't want to dig me out. He wants to maybe talk to other people. So don't be, uh, don't feel like they're ignoring you on purpose. It's just that he's having problems listening to California stations. And again, it's always nice to uh, hear others speak. And it's possible that the conditions will change. And there's probably other service networks or other networks out there. Uh, if you know some, put them in the description below. I wouldn't mind uh, knowing those. I only know one at the moment. Alright, my friend, I'll be clear with your station. Okay. This is the Maritime Nut, and I'm taking check-ins, over. Whiskey, Charlie, Zero, Oscar. Uh, okay, I heard a whiskey station first. Let's try that whiskey station again, over. Whiskey, Charlie, Zero, Oscar. Somebody's interfering, I think. Okay, six Yankee five whiskey whiskey stand by. There was another whiskey. I had to the other whiskey station. Try again, sir. Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Okay, what's the number? Over. Zero 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 one one zero. Is it whiskey zero uh, Charlie Oscar over? Negative negative negative. Whiskey, Charlie, Zero, Oscar. Two by one. Zero, Oscar. Okay. Got you that time, Frank. Over. Roger, 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 Roger. I'm over here in um, uh, Southern California, Chino Hills in Southern California, QSO. Okay, Frank. Yeah, not terribly strong. This band's not the best to the west for me, but uh, you're in the log. Over. Well, thank you very much, sir. I have no traffic to report. I thank you very much for picking me up. Have a great day in 73. All right, 73. I'll be clear with you. All right, there it is. He, he didn't give me a signal report. But at least he was able to uh, hear me, right? So I'm, I'm transmitting all the way to New York. Um, and I'm probably skipping different places. I was doing an activation earlier. I was hitting uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Northern California, Oregon, and Washington State, a couple of, uh, of um, cities in Canada, Virginia, and I think uh, North Carolina. Uh, let's see. I'll probably do more, a little more, now that my uh, antenna is, seems to be um, working in operation. And uh, and one reason I know is because the Maritime Mobile Service Network was very kind in coming back to me, and they dig they John did dig me out, uh, so that's that's a that's a plus. So again, if you have an antenna, you don't know if it's propagating right or not sure if people are hearing you. Try this out, but you got to wait your turn, right? General check-ins, he said. When they say general check-ins, try it. And um, they'll probably ask you for, this, is this your first time? Because they have a database. And you'll say yes if you've never done it. And then, you know, they'll ask you for your first name. Um, and then what city you, you live in or where you're located. And from there, you know, uh, they're, you're, they're in the log. You're in the log. And uh, hopefully um, when you call next time, they'll know your name. So... Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please subscribe. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this content. It's, uh, 
it's a beautiful day over here in Southern California. And uh, I hope uh, your activations and your contacts are, are as uh, pleasant as this one. So I'll see you later. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie Zeroscar. See you later. Bye-bye.